Hello there everyone. You're joining me today on my afternoon walk. And as you can see, it's been snowing here in Perthshire and it's, it's looking rather lovely. And it makes me think of that scripture, that well-known Bible verse in Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse number 18, where God is speaking and he says, Come now, let us reason together. Although your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And that's a wonderful verse because it teaches us that God is a God of mercy, that he's willing to forgive, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, to reconcile us to himself. What a God of mercy and grace that we have. He uses that colour scarlet. And when I think of that colour scarlet, I think of blood. And the Bible tells me that without the shedding of blood, there can be no remission, no forgiveness of sins. In order for God's heart to be satisfied, in order for his justice to be met, a sacrifice had to be made, the price had to be paid, blood had to be shed. And that blood had to be innocent blood. And of course, the Lord Jesus Christ shed his blood on the cross. The Bible tells me he is such a contrast from us. We are guilty. We're all sinners before God. Yes, some greater than others, but all of us have sinned. The Lord Jesus, of course, he is the exception. The Bible says that he is holy and harmless and undefiled and separate from sinners. That he did no sin, that he knew no sin, that in him is no sin. And when he died on that cross, he died there for our sins, that he bore our sins in his own body on the tree. He shed his innocent blood, dying there the just one for us, the unjust, to reconcile us back to God again. And because of what he did there on Calvary's cross, the Bible teaches me that the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses us from every sin. Every sin, sins past, sins present, sins we may commit in the future, all dealt with through the sacrifice of Christ. Well, King David, he understood his sin. He'd committed adultery, he'd committed murder, and the, the weight of it, the guilt of it, the shame of it weighed heavy upon him. But he knew God to be a God of mercy. And he cried to God and he said, If you cleanse me, if you wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Can you imagine anything whiter than snow? Well, God's forgiveness is. And today you can know that forgiveness. If you will accept the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus that it was for you, if you will believe that he died on that cross for your sins and rely entirely on his sacrifice, then God is willing and able to forgive you. Listen again to that wonderful verse. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be whiter than snow. God bless you.